and Charles, could I ask you before we begin with this, to share with everyone here how many sailors that you believe have already died? You know, so we just received a word today, and it, if I could ask my investigator, Daryl, just to take your phone out and read the notice we received today, just this morning. Uh, it says, uh, this is from one of our other sailors, it said, another Fukushima victim has passed away this morning. He was stationed in Japan aboard the USS Curtis Wilbur DDG-54 out of Japan. His name is Luke Ramo, was his name. And I just put a call in this morning to a, a lady in Texas, in Dallas, and it's Hyatt. Her 23-year-old son just passed away. He was on the Ravens and leukemia. That brings the total now to uh, six adults and one child who was born to one of the sailors following uh, his service on Reagan. That child was born with uh, brain tumors and tumors down the spine. And that was uh, Jay Dodson. He passed away. He lived for two years and passed away. Uh, Sorry, I missed that. <clears throat> now we have approximately 400 sailors who, just like these gentlemen, either they were on the Reagan of one of the other ships, the Essex or the Washington, or they were stationed uh, in one of the bases, as Hammy was, all of whom were radiated, all of whom were suffering very devastating injuries. And uh, we are just so grateful that the Prime Minister has come and met with them and listened in details to their medical conditions and shown great attention and compassion to what they're going through in his offer of support uh, to make sure that their medical needs and financial needs are taken care of. We're extremely grateful. Uh, hopefully, his present here will also shed a spotlight not only on these victims, but also the victims in Japan, who are also suffering from this uh, now professionally criminal negligent act by TEPCO and the other manufacturers of the uh, power plant there at Fukushima. Yes? Quick question. Just so no solid answers given today about any financial support, any, I mean, obviously support, but any like numbers or actually solid answers. Do you guys have any responses to that? Or um, how, how do you feel about that at this point in time? You want to respond? Anyone would like to respond to that? She wants to know that there was no concrete office of financial support. Well, you understand that the Prime Minister is not here as a representative from TEPCO. TEPCO is a defendant that we have sued along with other defendants. But so there's other information we don't know about that we would provide more accuracy in the fuller picture of the story on, in that aspect. Of, yeah, if I could, any of that information would be very helpful. So if your question is, how do they feel about the fact that there has not been any concrete financial offer of support? Yeah. Just concrete support. Yes. Well, would you like to speak to that? I think the Prime Minister very clearly stated that he is going to support the sailors in whatever way he can. And so if the question is how do you feel about the Prime Minister, the Prime Minister's offer to support you uh, in whatever way he can, what would you, your feelings about that, uh, Chad? I, I mean, as far as financially, I, I mean, I, honestly, I just want to feel better. You know, if my medical bills, you know, or research or whatever can be done to help provide that, that's what I would like. Um, so, if, overall, just quality of life. But, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know what... Uh, anybody is providing at this point in time, um, but overall, that's what I would like to see. What are you going through? Don't um, just digestional problems. Um, I don't want to get, get too into detail, but we'll just we'll say that for now. Yes. Could you just spell your name for us, behind? Uh, Chad C H A D, last name Holt H O L T. Thank you. And how long Thank did you serve in the Navy? I served for six years. Uh, I did training and then. After that, I went to immediately the Ronald Reagan. And then after, I guess, did you have to leave the Navy eventually? Well, my contract was up, and I did not renew at that point in time. Okay. So, would you like to say anything? Well, as far as everything that we've experienced over the past two days in the meeting with the former Prime Minister, it was really, in a way, a relief for me to see movement forward. Mm -hmm. uh, things kind of came to in my mind, a halt and stand still just as far as information wise, but to actually see that there is moving forward and to have the honor and privilege of such 
the esteemed individual come and greet us and meet us and show concern. That, it may not have been financial, but emotionally, that really gave me a lot of support forward. Can you spell your name too for us? Not a problem. It's William, W-I-L-L-I-A-M, Zeller, Z-E-L-L-E-R. Okay. I am actually currently still in, and I've been in for seven and a half years. And you were on the Reagan? <laughs> Correct. Yes. We'll probably ask that question if you all have names and stuff. Go ahead, I'm very grateful for our Prime Minister to come here all the way from Japan and uh, uh, listen to our, our um, experiences and concerns. And really uh, thankful for somebody who can uh, uh, represent us in, in light of this uh, incident in, back in uh, what, what was happening in uh, Shima Beach. Good. Anita. Oh. <laughs> a good talker, but anyway, um, <clears throat> the fact that the uh, the former prime minister came over all the way from Japan is a you know is a big gesture, um, and knowing that he, like what he said, is going to take it uh, as a personal uh, effort to move forward as far as. Uh, getting the awareness both uh, for both country, uh, Japan and the U.S. of the situations that uh, the sailors, I was a civilian on board, um, the people like us who had gone through the, the, uh, the uh, situation that we were in. And uh, I'm really, really thankful that he took that effort to come over. And you were on the Raven as well. I was on the Reagan as a civilian contractor, um, as a supply tech rep. Name is Benitez. Can you spell your first and your last name? Uh, first name is B E N I T O. Last name is Serentes. S E R E N T A S. And we'll end with Daniel. Uh, for me, it was pretty awesome to see somebody of you know this high status come all the way out here and show concern. Uh, I'd say it's the first time I felt like, you know, the world in, in a whole, especially Japan, is taking this issue seriously and the legitimacy of our argument. Um, you know, a lot of people, if they can't physically see something wrong with you, they think there's nothing wrong with you. Uh, that's not the case we're living with on a daily basis. You know, there's a lot of things that go on beyond the naked eye, so. Um, it really lifted my spirits. I mean, for me, that's huge. That's all that really matters to me. Chair, what were some of the personal stories that you yeah. had that you shared with the former prime minister in regards to the struggles and the medical issues? Say again? What were some of the personal stories that you guys have shared with the former prime minister to try to get him to really understand the struggle and, and the impact that this has made on your life? Was it pretty Yeah. Well, let me, let me just indicate that um, one, so as to protect some of the medical privacies of the, of the sales, that they shared a host of complaints that are common to the 400 plaintiffs who are now part of the class action lawsuit. Uh, as you well know, the class action lawsuit consists totally of about 75,000 American soldiers, sailors, Marines, and their families. There were 24,000 sailors on the various ships. There were 5,500 sailors on the Reagan alone. And they all have a commonality of symptoms ranging from cancers to, uh, and that is brain cancers, and tumors, and thyroid problems, and, and, and um, uterine cancers, and breast cancers, and all a host of problems that this class of young sailors who were in their early 20s, ranging from 20s to 30s, should not have and did not have when they went into the Navy. We know they didn't have them because they could not have enlisted in the Navy if they had had any of those kinds of diseases. Moreover, none of their families have had any of these kinds of injuries and illnesses. So uh, those are kind of, that's kind of the overview of the various um, uh, illnesses that they have, including leukemia. Now we've had at least three sailors to die of leukemia. Uh, we've had one sailor to die of a very rare form of cancer. Uh, so those are the kinds of complaints and illnesses that they are living with daily. 
Um, and that is what this lawsuit is about. Sorry, can you spell your first name and your last name in your title? Yes, my first name is Charles, my last name is Bonner, and I'm the attorney, uh, one of the three attorneys for the sailors. And my apartment, uh, Adam Cabral Bonner, is, uh, as well as uh, my third partner, who is uh, Paul Donner. We are the lawyers representing uh, now over 400 sailors. That's B-O-N-N-E-R. That's B-O-N-N-E-R, yes. Can we get Jaime and the gentleman on the far right to spell their names? Yeah, um, it's D-A-N-I-E-L, Daniel, and then my last name's Hare, H-A-I-R. And Jaime, can you spell your name for them? Uh, Jaime, J-A-I-M-E, Clavito, C-L-A, B I T O. And you were with the Helos Squadron? Uh, HS 14. Were you in the Helos or? A helicopter squad. Uh -huh. were, you, were you in the helicopters that flew out to the, out to Japan? I was a station at Naval Air Facility at Tsugi. Tsugi, thanks. Uh, Mr. Potter, could you give us a quick update on the lawsuit? Like, I know that part of it has been um, dismissed with prejudice, but part of it's on appeal. No, the lawsuit um, is, has not been dismissed. It's um, now we have won twice before the District Federal Court here in San Diego. Uh, and it, uh, TEPCO has appealed our victory to the Ninth Circuit. The oral argument on that uh, appeal will be had um, between August 29th and September 2nd in Pasadena. Has it been certified as a class action? It has not been certified as a class yet, but it will uh, following the appeal. Uh, how many are plaintiffs at this time, the most updated number? You could the updated number is approximately 400 at this point, but it's growing every day. We, we literally just had uh, four or five sailors called in last week with new problems that are just developing, including uh, brain tumors and other, other very serious problems. Uh, medical conditions. And all so, five gentlemen there are included. They're part of the <laughs> They're part of the 400 uh, uh, plates, yes. 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 For everyone, uh, I'm Yoko Fujimoto uh, from MBS TV, from Japanese TV. For everyone, what was the mem memorable uh, moment or was from Mr. Koizumi? For everyone, please f start from here. Um, <coughs> I the only thing I can say is uh, the the uh, the prime, uh, former prime minister is really really, um, I mean he's sincere. Uh, the way I look at him, he's very sincere, honest, and he really listens to our um, concerns. What was the memorable moment or was? Do you remember something you really felt from him? Um, I just, it's yeah, you know, it's it's yeah. You know, his simplicity is what strikes me. That's yeah. You know, that's that's the only thing that I can I can say about him. It's Thank very you. simple. It's his very simplicity simple. and his honesty and his yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. How about you? Um. For me, I, I guess uh, you know meeting him is probably the most memorable. The fact that he took the time and the interest that he had in us. Um, that that's memorable, memorable to me. So I, I definitely appreciative that you know he he wanted to come here and, and meet us. How about you? For me, it was probably shortly after I met him and sat down and started explaining my story. Um, most of the time, when somebody asks me uh, my story of what happened and how it concerned me and stuff like that, I give them a short answer, a little bit of details. And they're like, okay, thank you. And they go about their business. Uh, he very quickly, into my story, stopped my story and started asking questions. And it was probably the fact that he actually wanted to hear more in depth the actual things. The, it's probably the longest description I've ever had to give to anybody because they showed so much interest. So the fact that he, the, the first question that he actually asked me, aside from the traditional, please tell me what happened, that was probably my most memorable moment. That's great, thank you. How about you? As far as for me, uh, I'm very honored to uh, he, for him to come here and um, somebody I can uh, easily talk to, like uh, uh, somebody and uh, I work with in my previous command. So he is a very 
Just a couple of more questions. Any other questions? Yes. Uh, how many of uh, 400 clinics are, are actually participated in Operation Tomorrow Night? All of them. All of them? Yes. There were a total of. So it doesn't include family? No, it doesn't include family. There, there were 24,000 sailors who participated in Operation Tomorrow 24,000 sailors. And then there were other people who were on base such as Jaime, who also participated, but they were not on ships. But they were uh, sending over supplies through helicopters and airplanes that were going and participating in providing water, blankets, pulling people out of the water, rescue, food. Some of the sailors, uh, such as uh, uh, Daniel, literally took off all of their clothes and loaded their clothes on the helicopters and flew it over to people in Japan who didn't have clothes. Uh, and they would just walk around in their undies and boots. Uh, that was the kind of dedication that these sailors uh, uh, provided uh, through their service. One last question, yes. For those who believe that your illness is not related to your service on Reagan or in responding to, um, what do you perceive? <laughs> I guess you have to experience it. You have to experience the doctors telling you to your face. You have to experience the years of pain um, when everyone tells you, no, you're fine. If you can stand in my shoes and tell me that, no, it's not what it is, then I will accept it. But until that time to where you have been through what I've been through, and what my fellow shipmates and friends have been through, and you've experienced it, don't tell me you're right and I'm wrong. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you.